Little bit of a Wampa Wampa Show is nice. Will you give me the time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And what we're doing in a big ass clap. Oh. It's 10:13. Wednesday. We are doing Yeti Presents Brad Smashed Burger. Now look at that thing. And thank you for joining everybody. Welcome back to Making It here at my house. Today we're gonna to be making smash burgers on the flat top. A little love, a little attention to detail. My version, a little secret sauce. It's how I like them and I'm happy to share it with you. Let's start off at the shrine, okay? We'll go through our ingredients. We're gonna talk about it. Pay a little respect to what we're about to do. You may be seated. We'll start off with the bread. Cause is a burger a sandwich? Yeah. Hamburger sandwich. But yeah, either way. I got some potato rolls. You, some people like the seeded ones. I like the straight up classic Martin's potato rolls. There's a few brands to each their own. You know, I, I'm just a, I'm a sucker for the Martin's. It's got that famous Dutch taste. You can't make that shit up. I like them untoasted, soft and squishy. It's perfect, okay? So let's take one out and look at it real quick. In case you've never seen one. Perfect little like cartoon buns. Like the Hamburglar. Well, I'll gladly uh, uh, eat a hamburger today and pay you tomorrow or some shit. Dude was the best, but look at these, they're perfect. Squishy, nice, nice. Potato roll. And then we're gonna jump right into our beef. 80-20 beef mixture, 20 being the fat content in it, but uh, I don't believe them, it looks more like a 15. Form them into little balls. Let's weigh them real quick. For the, in case someone wants to get all computery like that, I'm not much of weighing my balls kind of guy, but we'll do it for the sake of science. Hey Siri, how many, ounce, how many grams in a pound? The answer is 453.59 grams. 453 grams. Been a while since my drug slinging days. So some people like a quarter pound. I'm gonna say, let's guess 100, 112 grams. I'm gonna change it and go 97. Ready? 86. 85. 88. 91. So we're looking for about an 85 to a 90 gram patty. If you want it bigger, make it bigger. I like this size because we're gonna smash it thin with some onions underneath it. I'd rather have two than a big fatty. Right down the line. Pickles, bread and butter. A little sweet, a little tangy, a little crunch. It goes nice with, with the burger in my opinion. In my opinion. A little black pep. We're gonna get into some sauce. We're gonna make a little Brad Leone's world famous but never heard of secret burger sauce. And it's gonna start with a little Hellman's. I'm a Hellman's guy. There's something special to it. Nostalgic, it's just good. If you like Duke's, Good for you. Or if you want to make your own, even better. Then we're gonna do a little, just a skosh of a grape poupon, which is a nice little Dijon mustard, little spice, little, little nice. We all know what mustard is, Brad. Oh, the secret ingredient. We got a little Japanese barbecue sauce, all right? This is the uh, hot and spicy one. These guys are great. Check them out if you've never had them before. We're gonna mix that with the mayo, the mustard, a little pepper, and I think that's gonna be our nice little, ooh, little secret sauce to go with it. American cheese. Um, in the world of cheeses, it's not my favorite. There's a time and a place. I'm a little bit of a stickler. If we're gonna go down the American cheese road, I like Land O'Lakes. And it's gotta be sliced thin, and it's gotta be cold, and I like it on a ham sandwich with a little mayonnaise and black pepper on white bread. That's about it. And on a burger. Why? Because it melts nicely. It doesn't break. It's not real oily. I'm a one slice kind of guy, but again, it's cooking, guys. Just do what you wanna do. Just don't hurt nobody. And there we are. Oh, last but not least, we got some ramps, some wild ramps that I foraged here the other day, and uh, we're gonna use the leaves as our lettuce. Very edible, very delicious, polyphenol burn, grassy, just, just very nice. I think it's gonna pair really well with the beef and our little, our little saucy sauce. Probably one of my favorite parts of the entire recipe uh, is a nice white onion. You can use yellow, you can use medallion, you can use red. I like the mild sweetness and not super aggressive spiciness of the white onion. That kind of commences our ingredient shrine. Thank you ingredients for showing up today. I am going to consume you and love you forever. 
We need some more shrine stuff too. Just gonna throw that out there. I gotta push a couple more shells into the uh, shrine budget. Or if anyone has really cool shrine stuff that might fit here, but is classy and cool and fun and funky, send it to me. Anyway, back to the burger. Anytime you're cooking outside or preparing, basically anything, have all your simple stuff, accoutrements, your bread, your, your sauce, have that all squared away so when you go to cook your burger, you just assemble and go, hot, nice, okay? So let's make our sauce first. We're gonna start off with a base of a little bit of mayonnaise. If you need measurements, just pay attention. And we're gonna guess. Oh, it's brand new. Check out the brains on brat. Look at that, look at that in there, come on. Hellman's. Growing up, I didn't like mayonnaise, but uh, all right. Oh yeah. Depending on how many burgers you're gonna do, you know, me and Ian are gonna have lunch today. Peggy, maybe the boys tonight. So we're gonna, I'd say what, half a cup of mayonnaise. Let's start there. Wild card, a little mustard. A little bit goes a long way. Let's do about a tablespoon, about. We can always adjust. Black pep. There you go, buddy. I'd say about that much. Next up, don't forget salt. Do a little pinchy pinch. And then our, our real wild card, we're gonna do some of that Japanese barbecue sauce. Not too, too much. That's kind of gonna be like our ketchup. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. If you want ketchup, but we'll see how it goes. On the border with whether or not I should use ketchup. And last minute decision, I'm gonna use one of these really awesome bulbs that came off of the ramp. I'm gonna slice that white part real thin. It's like an oniony, garlic, leaky, beautiful flavor I think it's gonna add. I'm a big garlic guy, I hope you are too. Medicinal grade food right here, wild ramp. Slice that real thin with the old big boy cleaver here. Look at that, buddy, huh? Then we're gonna give it a quick little chop, 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 chop. All right, back to the sauce. Let's give this a little mix and then we can adjust if need be. I think we might have a little bit too much mayonnaise. We might need a little bit more barbecue sauce. Doubling down. And this could be just a really nice little inspirational palette for you, okay? If you wanna put something else in it, that's the beauty of cooking, bud. All right, go ahead and put it right in there. Ooh, we're on to something. What does it need, Brad? Might have just been a little pepper. One of the joys of the show is that I've never made this before. All right, we're doing this together, we're cooking. Let's experiment, let's cook, let's test things. I like that, I think that's gonna be awesome. I just feel like it needs, is it a little bit of, a little bit of heat? You want a little bit of heat in there? Me too, good talk. So we got a little seedless red pepper flake, like a marasp beer. It'll bleed a little bit of color in there and oils from the pepper and, uh, and it'll add a nice little heat. Not overpowering, it's not like cayenne, but it does have a nice little, this will be just a little subtlety. Keep you guessing, like, ooh, ooh, what is that? It's not black pepper, ooh. Just like that, going in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <clears throat> it's done, ship it, great. Put it on a burger. All right, so let's go. Got our mise en place, which is all the ingredients we have. We got the flat top preheated. Let's go. I'll get the door. Watch out, it's a little breezy. That thing will slam right on your two pack. Okay. So we got our flat top hot. You could use a cast iron if you want. I like cooking outside, it's a beautiful spring day. And for me, my favorite cooktop is a flat top. A lot of workspace, even heat, it's just, it's the best. So I preheated it and we got it on a medium high now. We can adjust if we need. I like to put a little bit of animal fat down first. I use beef tallow and that's what we have in this little, this little crock right here. I like to use some of these spatulas here. I got a really cool, Line with lambsome. These are perfect for flat tops, perfect for burgers. Come in three different sizes, medium, small, and the big boy for flipping big boys, all right? This thing is awesome. You can get them as a set, you can get them individual. Bradley only signature model with Lamsom Sharp out of Massachusetts, one of the oldest knife companies in the United States. First off, we got our little bit of beef fat down. I take a nice little pad of onions. You wanna place that right down like that. I like a lot of onion, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. I am not here to lie to you. It already smells good, good googly. Next up, we got our pre 85 gram beef <laughs> balls. I'll hit it with a little bit of salt, just as a ball, and then I'll hit it again a little bit. You put that right on top, give it a little patsy patsy. All right, this one's for you, Ian, a little bit of salt. All right, I don't go smashing it yet, but I just set it up for smash, okay? And then look, a little drizzle on the side so it drips in, 
of that beef tallow. And then we're going in. I got this thing a little warm, get a little bit of fat on it, and it's just smash burger city, boy. Look at you, look at me, look at us. That's how we're meant to live. That's what I'm talking about. A little pinch of salt, and now we let them cook. Let them sear, don't go fooling around with them. Let that onion caramelize, steam, get real nice. Right, if it ain't sizzling, it ain't cooking. You don't want it too hot, you do want to establish a nice crust, a nice sear on there. So here we got some melted down beef tallow, and that's what I use as my cooking fat. Animal fat to me is the best fat to cook with. High smoke point, good for you, you can't beat it. I'm gonna put one more down. Peggy's inside working, Peggy's my wife. We're gonna make her a little, little smash burger too. Who doesn't love a little surprise smash burger? I don't think anyone's ever surprised me with a smash burger. Look at this, a little bit of beef fat. Tallow is the move, my friend. And then smash. <laughs> Let's get that one a little flatter. Great, let that do its thing. The pro move when we're done is the flip with the cheese. And I got my little steam thing. You put the cheese on, you flip it. Whoop, the moisture from the, from the whole cooking process will help melt that cheese real quick without overcooking. We're getting there, Bobo. And then we're gonna make a little lunchy lunch. See, so when you wanna go get, when you're cooking on these things, you wanna get something that's got a nice little sharp, thin edge. I mean, this thing is, we're talking surgical. Tools, man, you gotta get tools for the trade. Yep, yes, sir. How do you like your burger, chef? Medium rare. Medium rare, I knew I liked you. Let me go get the black pepper, all right? You stay here, make sure nothing burns. I won't go to the grocery store. Something sweet. Ian, make sure nothing burns, bud. All right, and we're back. You know what I do like to do? Kind of went against a little bit of what I said before. It's not toast the buns, but I like to, I want the inside to be squishy, but I don't mind putting a little bit of warmth on the outside, on the, on the bottom, and especially on the top, with just that little kiss of, of nice, you know? Ooh, so it's not just right out of the package. Well, that's not bad either. All right, let's flip one, yay. Yeah? Got a little bit of blood coming up. And remember, it's still gonna cook. That ain't bad, buddy boy. I can even go another second. We will on this one. Could've went a little thinner, but not bad. Nice. And then we hit it with a little bit of American cheese right on there like that. Saucy Sally. And then look, you and I will go right there. Cheese melter 6000 going on. Just that little flat, little heat kiss. Put that right there. Yeah, buddy. You know, hot smash burgers, cold beer. Thanks to the Yeti Colster here. Insulated so I can keep it right by my hot flat top. Not heating up my can. Perfect for outdoor grilling. Oh yeah, nice and cheesy. Nice. See, two would have been too much for me. Beautiful. Stunning. So I got the tops of the bread. We'll do a light smear, just a little bit. Doesn't need to go crazy on the top. Look at that, beautiful color, little specks to it, nice flavor. A little saucier on the bottom, but not too, too much. All right, and then we'll do on the top, three pickles. If you're a big pickle guy, extra pickles, I know you love four. And then some of those ramp leaves that we foraged up. I think that'll be a nice little riff on lettuce. And again, very seasonal item, very regional item. If you don't have access to ramp leaves, I mean, obviously lettuce will work. A lot of people don't want any type of green on there, and I get that, I get both. Save two for pegs. Black pepper, key moment. Black pepper right at the end. I don't need to go burning my black pepper, making it all bitter and nasty. Right at the end, a la minute, baby. Right on the bread. Smash burger 12,000 right here. That's kind of it. I like to tuck it in a little bit. Tuck it in, bud. Throw that on there like that. Come on. Buddy, look at that bad boy. I can't wait, you know, I'm just gonna bite it. Mmm, ooh, ooh, ooh. That sauce, right amount of creaminess, a little bit of spice. You get some sweet from the pickle, and you really just can't beat. Oh, Peggy's got real nice. That cheesy, oniony. Sorry, Peg, I forgot about yours. A little sauce smear, sauce smear. Give her a ramp or two, a couple pickles. 
couple pickies. All right, get right on there. Look at that. It's like the best of both worlds. It's like a burger meets a cheesesteak. You got onions, cheese melted in all on there, caramelized, pepper, salt. Everything's perfect. It really is. I don't say perfect often, but this is a perfect burger. Thanks for hanging out and making it. This is one of my favorite ways to make a burger, a smash burger with some beef tallow, uh, less is more, a little secret sauce, some ramps on there. But most importantly, it's just that technique, getting the onion down there nice and thin, put that fat down, season appropriately. Don't burn your black pepper, trust me. You know, have fun doing it. Cook it how you like to do it. The technique is the biggest takeaway. From there, it's just fun. Cook how you like to eat. Let me know things you'd like to see me cook here at the farm. In the name of summer, there's nothing worse than man in the grill, cooking for everybody, and when your drink that you've been looking forward to goes warm. Or you're next to, and you know, Uncle Charles' grill. All of a sudden, Johnny wants a hamburger, Susie wants a, che a cheese dog or something. No one wants a warm drink on a hot day. Get the Yeti Colster. Keep it cold all summer long, baby. Cheers. Let's go. Ian, I got a burger with your name on it, buddy. Take a seat, bub. Take a seat. There I said, Christian. Uh, Talk concerns. We're all alright. In Chicago. And your mother and a sister.